Marathon season is back in Naperville and thousands look to accomplish the goal for what they've tirelessly trained. But for one local couple, completing in this year's marathon is another step in fighting a bigger battle. Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick has their story. When Chris Benyo and Denise DiMarzo got married, everything seemed possible. But just six months after the wedding, things took a turn for the worse, when Denise was diagnosed with the motor neuron disease, ALS. Now five years into the disease, ALS has stripped her of the abilities to do everyday activities, like walk and talk. But it hasn't stopped her from staying true to a promise she and her husband made when they fell in love through running. That was the whole plan when we got married in 2010, that we were, she'd put into training and we would run together anywhere she wanted to if she put in the training, and um, we're doing the next best thing that we can. For them, that means still completing marathons, but in a different way. This is what preparing for a run looks like for Denise now. Chris and a team of friends push Denise, an especially designed jogger, throughout the races they've run since her diagnosis, all in an effort to give Denise the satisfaction athletes yearn for. When you have pushed yourself to the limit, and moments of triumph when you've completed the goal. It takes your time, your complete determination, and sheer willpower to stay in it and not give up. And that's exactly what they're doing this year as they prepare to complete their sixth marathon together, despite Denise's continuing struggle with ALS. She's breathing now at about a 13% down from like, she's like 22 or 25 a year ago. Um, and um, other than that, she's tough. She's, she's fighting it every day, but it's getting harder for her to, to do things that she was usually able to do. And that's kind of like the nature of the disease. But Chris and Denise aren't just fighting for themselves. This year, they'll again run for the Les Turner ALS Foundation to raise more money for ALS research and give others hope for their future. You know, our saying is all in, and instead of, you know, you got two choices when something like that happens. You can either just, you know, die with ALS or you can try to live with ALS. And Denise, since she is my hero, she's definitely living with ALS and she's not dying with it. For Denise, each race is different than the one before, just as each month is different with ALS. When we're up there, everything stops and we focus on the race. It is as if my mind can separate from the disease and just take in the glory of the race. God willing, this will not be my last race, but I have my sights set up in Boston, New Jersey and Naperville in 2016. I don't give up his alley. I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. Last year, Chris, Denise, and their team who ran raised almost $9,000 for the Les Turner ALS Foundation.